15th of June. I just did my workout because I, I missed doing it. Uh, it was a long time ago that I did it the last time and I begin to feel it. I'm home alone again. Uh, Lucas is at kindergarten, Artemis is at work. And what are my plans for today? Uh, I'm thinking of uh, maybe writing a review of the Man Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. Also, I'm thinking of filming one. But, uh, other than that, what are my plans for the week? Uh, talking about reading. I want to finish uh, reading The Perfect Stranger by, by Anne Gracie. It's one of, I think, four books about Mary Dew sisters, a historical romance. Uh, I can read you a little bit of what it's about. It's with a signature spirit, Faith Meridue has left everything she's ever known for the man she thought was the love of her life. Instead, he leaves her name and dreams in the dust. That is, until she crosses path with Nicholas Blacklock, a Waterloo vet veteran, who offers to save her reputation with a marriage of convenience. I think it can be fun uh, story. I hope that, uh, and I think that Faith will be a feisty one. <laughs> And Nicholas will have a lot of trouble with her. Now I'm thinking of doing some breakfast, eating, and going to going to write my review. Hello! <laughs> I'm trying to film this uh, clip already the second time. Uh, yeah, I was filming with uh, my camera turned off. <laughs> it happens. It's Tuesday. Uh, or is it Wednesday? I think it's Tuesday. Let's say it's Tuesday. So, uh, it's one o'clock already and I was a little bit busy. <laughs> I was doing my nails. It takes me a lot of time to do them. However, it was time because they looked gross already. Uh, yesterday I read quite a bit of The Perfect Stranger by Anne Gracie and I'm enjoying it a lot, a lot more than I expected uh, because it's quite funny to read, it makes me smile and laugh <laughs> uh, sometimes. Um, the banter between main two characters is just, is just hilarious, so I, I, li I like the dynamic between them. So I will definitely read more of that today and I'm already on page 116 yeah uh, today when I was uh, doing my nails I listened uh, to the Felix Ever After I'm going to do some lunch and I, while I will be doing my food feud <laughs> I will be listening for that book I think I will see you a little bit later guys once again uh, I'm playing at the moment with Lucas uh, outside it's such a warm day today it's almost ridiculous how hot it is uh, today I listened a little bit more of uh, Felix ever after and uh, I'm beginning to be uh, intrigued about who is that blackmailer <laughs> So I'm hoping to be finished with that book t this week, I hope. Also I read few pages of uh, uh, The Perfect Stranger. <laughs> that book is hilarious. I definitely recommend reading it uh, for those who like historical fiction. It will definitely make you laugh a lot. Hello, it's Wednesday and I'm trying to film this clip, I don't know, <laughs> maybe the sixth time? It's just not working. It's almost 10 o'clock now and I'm thinking of going and trying my sewing machine. Uh, I have one for maybe all over five years or more. Uh, and I don't know what happened, but it started breaking needles. 
So my sister sent me new ones and I want to try them today. After that I'm thinking of doing Lithuanian potato salad because it's extremely hot today and so I don't want to do anything warm. Yeah, I woke up today with a huge headache so I will try to take it easy today and don't do anything extreme. While I'll be doing food I'm thinking of uh, listening of Felix Eva after and I'm already in the middle of the book and I quite enjoy it. Also I'm going to read, continue reading uh, where that book is, uh, The Perfect Stranger by Anne Gracie and uh, I love that book that I'm flying through it. I think I'm about 130 pages in already. Yeah, so I will continue reading that one today also. And for now, I think that's it. It's quite quite a bit later at the moment and I finally have a new mic so I'm hoping so that from now on there will be much better sound quality. Fingers crossed. I finished listening to Felix Ever After and I gave it four stars. I quite enjoyed the book and the plot but I wasn't a huge fan of the main character Felix. He seemed to me a little bit childish. Also I read quite a bit of The Perfect Stranger. It's it's so good. I'm enjoying it uh, quite a lot. The more I read, the more I like that book. At the moment I think about giving it five stars. Good morning everyone. It's Thursday the 18th of June and it's almost 10 o'clock now. I just did my workout, did some laundry and now I'm thinking I'm of going eat a little bit and making a Lithuanian cold soup from beetroot. Uh, while I'll be doing that I'm going to listen for, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking of giving a chance to the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Well, I think that is the title of the book. So I think I'll talk to you a little bit later. Thank you. 
it's almost not almost it's six o'clock in the evening and I listened today I listened of Evelyn Hugo and seven her and seven her husbands or something like that or seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo I think that's it um, it's enjoyable and quite interesting but I can't see why it's so popular or why people love it so much maybe I will find out a little bit later I'm glad that I'm listening it on the audio also I read few pages of The Perfect Stranger and it's so far so good good morning it's Friday um, it's extremely hot today outside I think the heat wave just reaches it reached its peak uh, it's only nine o'clock in the morning and it's already 24 degrees Celsius uh, me and Lucas woke up about 7 and it already was 20 so it's going to be to be just hell on earth uh, so what was my plan for today I, I I thought I will do a lot of cleaning and so on but I don't know it's very easy for me to get a headache especially when it's hot so I think I just tidy few rooms and that will be it for today so a lot of time for reading for me but while I'll be cleaning I will continue listening for the seven husbands of Evelyn, Evelyn Hugo and uh, I hope I will like that book better I don't I, I don't say that I don't like it it's just that I still can't see why people love it so much yeah, for me it seems mediocre for now but I, I'm just in the beginning so my opinion can change after that I will continue reading uh, The Perfect Stranger by Anne Gracie I think this month this book we will be the f my favorite I will continue that I'm already on page I think 200 and something so it's not that much left of it to read so I'm hoping maybe if I read almost all day today <laughs> uh, maybe I can finish it today if not today then tomorrow that's are my plans for now saying when life uh, life th throws you lemon you should make a lemonade so before a few hours I I've got a full bucket of lemons <laughs> at the one time so now I don't know what to do yeah I feel a little bit not great 
to say the least but what can you do life is life so yeah i i don't have any mood to do anything at the moment maybe i will try to read i don't know but before everything happened i was reading a perfect stranger by and Gracie and that book is definitely can cheer me up so maybe I will try to do that because in each page there are some lines and uh, dialogues between characters that you, you just you just have to laugh out loud it's so hilarious didn't expect that from this book Yes, so, uh, I don't know, I tried to read, I think. Uh, also, uh, I listened uh, about an hour more of um, The Seven Husbands of, Ele Eve Ele Vanilla. <laughs> of Evelyn Hugo. And uh, I'm starting to change my opinion. I see, I'm beginning to see why people like it so much. It's very interesting and fascinating and uh, the writing style you just keep wanting more. So, and that Evelyn had a, seems like she had a very, very peculiar life so i'm interested to know more about her so i will listen to that book i think maybe a little bit later when i will be doing my cross stitching i can show you what i'm cross stitching actually i started cross stitching maybe when i was seven years old and now it's a huge part of my life and my hobby besides the books so i'm just cross stitching this picture right here it's not that much left to do I'm hoping to be finished with that quite soon I think that's it for now I don't know if I update you more today or if not then I will see you tomorrow good morning <coughs> It's Saturday, 9 o'clock, and we just woke up, and so it's a beautiful day outside. Seems like uh, it's going to be hot once again, although. <laughs> um, remember when there was a table here in the kitchen? Uh, yesterday we uh, decided that we don't need a table in the kitchen because we have one there. So we can eat there and instead of the table now we have this beauty uh, i've got it for free some someone was just giving the, it away so i couldn't pass it it works well with our kitchen seems like an old kitchen yeah I'm a happy bunny now <laughs> because I wanted something like that for a, for a long time. Um, reading wise, um, I haven't read yesterday in the evening because you know why. I said I think that I had some bad news and yeah, even today I feel anxious a lot so I don't know what I'm going to do for that but I'm glad that today our Mas and Lucas are the home so I, I won't be alone so I'm hoping maybe we, we will go to the city I don't know just get some groceries and after that we haven't planned anything for today just relaxing day so I will definitely include reading, so I will continue reading The Perfect Stranger 
and maybe I will listen uh, a little bit of the uh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Yeah. And that's it for now. Once again, I'm trying to film this clip, I uh, don't know how many times. I even asked Arimas uh, to come and help me because, I don't know, today my camera just refuses to work with me. So fingers crossed, this time will be the last because I want to go edit the vlog, start editing and go to read because I haven't read today. And I want to finish reading The Perfect Stranger by Anne Gracie. I'm thinking of giving that book five stars because it's amazing. Uh, the story is very intriguing. Um, I want to know what is that big secret behind Nicholas' a journey to, uh, to Spain. Also, I love the dialogues between the characters because almost in every page I laugh out loud. They're so hilarious, just, <laughs> yeah, the just banter between them is fantastic. Uh, the third thing that I love about that book is the main character, Faith. Uh, she is a feisty one. <laughs> uh, she's not afraid to stand for herself and if she wants something she gets it uh, she's strong strong-willed woman and that's not that typical <clears throat> in historical fiction because usually uh, women in the historical fiction are just damsels in distress but not not faith so i'm i will try to finish it i'm on page 258 and it's only about 50 pages left to finish after that, if I still be awake, I will try to start reading a advanced reader copy that I've got from publishers uh, through NetGalley. And I have to write a review on the beginning of the July, so I want to start that this month. Uh, but I don't remember the title, so I will tell you tomorrow. And what else? Uh, I feel better <laughs> after what happened yester uh, yesterday. I don't know what happened this year, it's just just crazy. Uh, so I think I'm not the only one who has uncertainties about the job. But I think yesterday's news was a sign for me that I need to do some changes in my life and I thought about that all day yesterday and all day today and I think it's just always harder to take the first step to do something. Uh, because you feel so comfortable in your own bubble uh, but changes uh, lets us grow so today I already did some things took that first step <laughs> and I start to feel a little bit better 
also I'm glad that I have Aurimas um, because he's very supportive of me and at the moment I need that the most so I think that will be it for today and I will see you tomorrow good morning it's Sunday and it's now 10 o'clock I just uh, had breakfast and now I will update you on the book finally yesterday I have read uh, and finished The Perfect Stranger by Anne Gracie I gave it five stars I love that book uh, however uh, warning for those who are not interested in the how can I say without spoiling let's say a little bit unnatural things because the ending was different <laughs> than any other historical fiction book that I read uh, totally unexpected but I loved it so yeah five stars and now I will start reading Midsummer Dreams at Mill Range by Jane Johnson, I think. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I have to finish that book quite quickly, quite soon. So I will uh, concentrate on this one and try to read it in a few days' time. What are plans for today? Uh, I don't know. I haven't planned anything yet, so maybe we will go and have a little trip somewhere or just be home and relax. We will see. Today we went to the Atlantic Road, it's the road that goes uh, across the uh, ocean line, I don't know how to explain it. In Norwegian it's called Atlanterhavsveien, so uh, we went there, uh, I have some clips I think that I will try to show you, uh, and before that before the trip, I started reading the <clears throat> Midsummer Dreams. Let me say the correct title: uh, Midsummer Dreams at Mill Grange by Jane uh, Jenny Kane. So I'm only five uh, five percent in, and so far it's not that interesting. I hope that it will pick up but 
for now I don't know it's just don't grab my attention that much I can tell you what it is about um, Thea Thomas needs to get away from her old life and the interfering ex who won't leave her alone when she lands a job heading up the restoration of Millgrange, a stunning Victorian manor in Devon, it feels like the perfect opportunity to start afresh. What they didn't uh, anticipate was how hostile the volunteer team, led by the formidable Mabel Hastings, will be about accepting new leadership. And with the deadline looming before the grand opening, they is desperate, uh, uh, in desperate need of more volunteers. A broadcast appeal on the local news attracts the interest of arrogant but undeniably attractive celebrity historian Sean Coulson, who wants to make a TV program about the restoration. It's hard enough adding one more big personality to the mix, but then her ex turns, uh, uh, turns up uh, as one of the volunteers. What seemed like a dream come true is fast becoming a total disaster. Can Thea find a way to save the manor? I hope it will be interesting, but for now it's not, <laughs> just to be clear. Uh, also, what uh, have I managed to read this week? Uh, I finished listening to to Felix Ever After by Case uh, and Calendar, and I gave it four stars. Uh, also, I finished reading The Perfect Strangers by Anne Gracie and I gave it five stars. And I started listening for uh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Uh, I'm almost in the middle of that book and uh, the more I listen to it, the more I like it. Uh, and I started... started uh, reading the Midsummer Dreams in Millgrange. So, I think this week was successful and we are now on the last week of June, I think. So, I have a lot of plans for uh, videos I want to do. So, I think this week will be dedicated for filming. Uh, what else? Oh, on Thursday I'm hoping to get uh, my new shelves for the library and I can show you. They will uh, stand here at this wall. Uh, after that, after some time, I will buy some for here. And yesterday I, I bought this shelf. So, I think it looks cute here. It's perfect. The camera is flashing, so I think my battery is out <laughs> soon to be. So, uh, I don't know if I uh, talk to you today more. If not, then we will see each other in uh, another vlog or another video. I hope you like this one. So please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and I see you soon. Bye!